Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis after another extremely enjoyable day of trading today. Honestly, I've loved it so much. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to cover for you all the Bitcoin and then I'll also cover, cover some of the altcoins that I've been trading because I've been doing so much today. Uh, but I'm going to cover ontology definitely, as I said in my tweet, and I'll also cover uh, VeChain and da -da 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 Icon. Yeah, I'll do those three altcoins for you all. And then, you know, today has been full on jam packed. I started off trading cryptocurrency then i moved on to us oil started shorting us oil and then recently as the stock market s p 500 index just hit 2812 i've in a short on that as well so i've been playing all markets today it's been full-on non-stop i've absolutely enjoyed it so much um but yeah i'm going to keep up this positivity keep it going and starting with cryptocurrency here the absolute joy of cryptocurrency this volatility is what i absolutely love it is just perfect to trade and uh yeah i'm going to be covering today my setups that i've been going through on Bitcoin coin. So as you all know, this morning I tweeted out, and this is tweet, this is played out exactly as I thought it would eight hours ago. <laughs> so it's just been crazy, um, really, really prof profitable day. But um, I don't want to brag too much. <laughs> but it's been so good. Um, so what we're going to be covering here? So obviously we the weekly candle close that we had yesterday that was a really bearish rejection. Okay, a very bearish rejection with a really big upper wick on that weekly candle close. Okay, but now we have the daily here. This was a daily that I showed you all here. This is a bearish engulfing candle. Okay, where it took back all of the move during the last six days of sideways consolidation and this upwards movement here so five days and then we had the bearish engulfing which engulfed all of the movement up and consolidation okay then we came back down to around the 55 26 exponential moving average okay also moving along with this uh, resistance, old old resistance trend line that was trying to hold a support okay so that was what we had yesterday on the daily time frame okay then today, what did I say? So enough support here to warrant a relief rally. Okay, and what have we seen today? We've seen a relief rally, <laughs> which will give alts a breather too. Okay, so when you see a, a, a relief rally on Bitcoin, the altcoins are also going to get the relief rally. Okay, so that's why I was really scalping alts so heavily today. Okay, to make up for so you know to enter some nice buy long positions on altcoins. Uh, but ultimately, I am expecting another leg down, and that's what I'm going to cover for you now. Where's could this potential leg down be coming? Okay. So we're first looking at, obviously we'd saw this strong A wave down, okay, after we'd saw, you know, our ABC up over, over the last few weeks, okay, coming up in an ABC, because I still believe that we're in an ABCDE triangle, which is a 33333 Elliott wave pattern, okay, and I believe that we have see, saw the three, three, three waves up over the past two weeks, okay, and now what have we saw today, we saw a lovely rejection, lovely rejection, uh, last night down to around this sort of trend line resistance the old trend line that we're obviously looking at as resistance trying to hold it as some sort of support here where we obviously broke down hovered very much around this sort of um, middle of the parallel channel which is also the middle of or obviously on this trend line okay so with that holding the support what are we env envisaging happening here as I mentioned here I believe that we're getting a, a going to get a relief rally. Okay, so what do I mean by the relief rally? A, a relief rally is essentially a bear flag, which an, also can be seen as the B wave. Okay, so an A, B, C coming back down. Okay, what can you also see forming here? Absolutely lovely. You can also see this bear flag forming where we have the flag pole and then a potential flag coming up like this just to fall straight back down. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm envis envisaging happening here. But just because I expect another leg back down, you guys have to understand that I am still taking sh uh, taking longs on this relief rally. Okay, I'll play longs and sculpt all day long on a relief rally. It's uh, very enjoyable. Uh, because you can be long in and short in all day long. It's it's I love sculpting. It's so 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 fun. Um, but yeah, that's what I really do believe happening here. And just to clear up some confusion of what I posted uh, regarding the um, fib, fib extension that I had for this wave C, because a lot of people were confused by this. Uh, I believe that this old support here is going to flip into resistance. Okay, you know, classical technical analysis. You have support old support that held will now flip into resistance so that's why i placed the b here because i had a lot of people uh, wondering why i placed the b here and it's for that reason the old support i i'm predicting to flip into resistance obviously there's no guarantee it won't and we can just move up here and if it does i have an invalidation level uh, where i will close out of the short okay but I'm still uh, laddering into the uh, into a short here to play this down for the a b c okay i do believe there's still another leg down okay uh, what else can we see here? So on our extension, if this B is correctly identified, then we have the A and the B. And what we'll be looking for is generally around a one to one extension. So around 3,400 is a nice target for me. OK, 3,400 from the one to one extension. But we obviously do have this area of support 
at around 3,500. Okay, so I'll start laddering out around those areas because we do have a strong support, old support here, resistance flipping out around the 786, okay, Fibonacci extension. So that is for me a nice, really nice target, okay? Um, so that's what I'm aiming for on this ABC. I also am aware that around the 618 we do have support here, but um, yeah, I'll play that as it comes. My overall targets are still the 786 and the one to one extension. If we start bouncing there, well, for the 618, obviously, then I'll, um, I'm always quick to adjust in the time just because I have targets. I'm always managing my trades, um, you know, in the actual real time, but that's what I predict that's going to be happening right now. Okay, using just Elliott Wave and Fibonacci extensions. Seeing here old support, thinking that this will flip into resistance. Okay, if we are to. Obviously, this is looking very much like a bear flag. Yeah, really, really big bear flag, if I'm honest, where you get the flagpole down, the bear flag, and then to continuation to the downside. This, for me, is looking very much like a bear flag at the moment. And if we do start to fall down before we even reach the resistance, then I will enter my short... Um, Obviously, with a worse risk to reward ratio, the reason why I want it to come up here is because it gives me a much better risk to reward ratio. Um, but, you know, if we were to fall down, then I still have one of my ladder short positions filled. So that's enough for me. Um, but we'll see how it goes. That's how I am playing trading Bitcoin right now in the actual moment. OK, I am actually in trade still as we're speaking. But, um, yeah, no, that's that's what I believe is going to be happening here. Um, so, yeah, that's was my viewpoint with Bitcoin, okay? And as you will know, this was a funny comment that I had yesterday. This guy is definitely the new challenger for best scalper on, scalper on crypto Twitter, an absolute day trading mach machine, and he's got a green screen. And this is really, really linking back to the, um, actually, I'll cover this at the end of the video. I'll, I'll cover this at the end of the giveaway that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, that was a, a nice comment. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'll, that's, I'll, I'll cover that at the end. I must not forget that. Uh, then what was I going to go over here? Okay, ontology. Yeah, that's about everything. Okay, so yeah, basically, as you all know, I really did think that we would get the relief rally. We have seen a relief rally, and this will give the alts a breather too. Okay, so I would. That's why I traded the altcoins because I was expecting them them to get a breather. As you all know, you can just see from the right hand side. They, <laughs> I expected the breather, and the breather they got. <clears throat> You know, this is why I really sometimes uh, would be nice if I was a uh, signal caller because I would have made some very uh, rich people, people very rich today from some of the uh, calls that I could have gave. But anyway, uh, looking here at ontology, let's go through ontology first because this has been a crazy trade. I mean, over the last few weeks, this coin has gone up um, literally in 17 days, 136%. Okay, this has been, you know, a, 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 a crazy trades for me over the last few weeks. Just really, 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 really love trading ontology. You all know I'm a big ontology fan. So uh, <laughs> when ontology gets that sort of volatility, then I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk you through, slow down a little bit, Daniel. <laughs> uh, and I'm just so excited and so happy. I'm going to try and slow it down and explain what's going on here. Okay, so I do believe that we have seen the wave one, two, really, really extended third wave. Okay, really extended third wave where we reached the two, six, one, eight. Let me just remove that and I'll draw it out for you. <clears throat> but I do believe that this was wave three and we're coming down now for an ABC to come back up for a fifth. OK, so let's first talk about the target that we had here for wave three. This was taken from the bottom of wave one to the top of wave one to the bottom of wave two. And what do we have here? We have the wave three coming up to a 2618 extension. I actually sold at the 1618 extension. Uh, and guess what? The, the coin actually obviously carried on to the 2618 but you know what? This is the sort of people that FOMO into moves when a coin had already was already up 80%. Um, and then they're FOMOing in at the very top of moves. And you know all the people that um, when they see the coin up so much and yesterday when it was up at these levels, it was literally on about 20% on the day. And people that are FOMOing in at the top of that move got absolutely wrecked. OK, this is why you never FOMO and you have a plan. Um you know, I never, ever get wrecked like that. That's just crazy to be buying at the top of a 20% move. But all the people that bought at the top here, um, you all know that they bought at the top and then they capitulated on the way down here. You just know that this was signaling capitulation here. They all capitulated. Um, and that just goes to show you have to have a plan. And if you're a newer trader, do not FOMO in because you're going to be giving me, <laughs> you're going to be giving your money is going to come into my pockets. And you don't want to do that if you're a newer trader. Uh, be smart. <laughs> um, but basically what happened here, let's, uh, let's, let me just remove that. I just wanted to show you where wave three ended and just how perfectly it ended at the 2618, like literally by a wick onto the 2618. Perfect. No, just this is why you love Fibonacci and, and uh, Elliott waves. Just perfect extension on the 2618. 
Okay, so once we'd seen the 2618 being hit, you take your out the fib Fibonacci from the bottom of wave two to the top of wave three. And this is where you're expecting the retracement down to, to form your ABC in wave four. Okay, and this is what makes me laugh that the people that FOMO'd at the top here would have capitulated here selling when they saw obviously the move down. What will we move doing down from the top? It was about 30%. Yeah, literally 29% drop. So most people that would have been buying at the top here capitulate um, and they're selling all the way down here. And guess what? This is where I'm buying. <laughs> um, so then they then they they set they buy and it goes down, they sell, and then they sell when the coin goes back up. Okay, just really, really funny. Um well, I guess not funny. I don't want to be mean, but people have to learn sometimes the hard way. It's just the nature of trading. Um and hopefully if you were maybe maybe you watching this and this happened to you, I don't want to be mean, but you know it's just really common to see this happen that it, the moves come down where do we bounce we bounced exactly at the 1618 fibonacci level okay this is firstly the 2618 being hit coming down for the most perfect retracement in the world of a 0.618 fibonacci retracement for wave four okay and this is where people are selling, capitulating, and then it bounces. Why did it bounce? Because we hit the 618 Fibonacci retracement, just um, perfect retracement right there. And you know it got a, like a 25% bounce. 25% <laughs> bounce from the 618 in literally four, in this one four-hour candle, a 25% bounce. Just absolutely amazing, yeah? Um, so we obviously had the the, the the first bounce, okay? And this is where things got very interesting. Okay, this was me going to sleep. I went to sleep as the at the top of this, okay? Or more or less at the top as we were coming down. I was uh, heading to sleep. And I don't, I'm not short in ontology, okay? I'm not short in ontology because I'm trading it on Binance. Um, so I was closed out and just waiting for a, a rebuy. Where do you think I buy? If if you if you just see that the buy here was the one, is, is the 618, just think, where are you going to be rebuying here? have a guess just above the 618 okay and this is the front run but you know here again so i went to sleep and i, I wasn't in obviously i closed out because i didn't want to um you know why why was i closing out here because let's just take first the retracement from here obviously we're coming up to the 1618 and i uh but what i'm not sh a shorter of ontology on binance because well it's impossible to short ontology on binance i guess uh, otherwise maybe i would if, if if they had the option but you know it's impossible but firstly, coming up to that 1618, okay? And obviously, I wanted to buy back in. Where's the buy back in? And this was what I took this morning, okay? This was my trade of the day. That you're taking out this Fibonacci retracement again from the bottom of A to the top of A. And you're seeing this come back perfectly to the golden pocket, okay? So we came down very perfectly, lining this up very nicely, coming back perfectly to the golden pocket, okay? To 618 to 6.5. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> and what are we seeing here? Now, the potential of an ABC, okay? The, another ABC within. Okay, so this is wave A. Then we come up for an ABC within B, and we will still come back down for the C to finish the wave four, okay? Or I believe we will. And this is just an ABC within wave B, okay? So that's important to realize. Um, but yeah, the trade was waiting for it to come down to the 6.8 retracement and then buying and playing this up for an ABC flat. And I'm going to explain the reason of the flat in a minute. But I just want to show you from the bottom of this move to even where we are right now is still a 13% move. So just absolutely, you know, really crazy gains. Yeah, that this is in just just a half a day of trading um that you can get from that move but the reason why i'm saying abc flat is because there's two ways you could be looking at this there's an abc diagonal okay which is obviously more risky uh, but you still see even from the diagonal where we're falling down right now we are falling down again at the 618 uh, fibonacci extension okay but your target would be a one-to-one -one. so your target would be up here if you're looking at, a, at an abc extension okay um, of a zigzag extension, sorry. But if you're looking for that zigzag extension, your target's generally going to be the one to one. But if you exclude this wick a second and just look at it like this as an A, a B, ah, <laughs> a C, I need to take off this magnet tool, but an ABC, and you have the potential of an ABC flat if you just exclude this lower wick. But if you want to include it, then you have an ABC zigzag currently falling down with a truncated C on the one on the 618, okay? Uh, those are the two possibilities that I see though on, on ontology, but I am still expecting this to come down for a move to at least really around this 618 region to finish off the ABC on wave four. Okay. And then we'll go again for wave five. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that was ontology and that's literally what I was trading this morning. It was, you know, absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely trade, really not hard at all. Um, and really, really successful. Okay, so that was ontology, uh, and then at 10 a.m. is where I started shorting uh, U.S. oil. So this was I was kind of com combining both at the same time. I really quickly. I'm not going to go through the uh, U.S. oil. 
uh, shall I? I'll really quickly show you, just show the chart. So this was obviously the movement down that we had on US oil. Um, and it was funny that the US stock market, uh, where, uh, well, the S&P, which I trade the most, uh, obviously had its gap and filled up to up at the top. And this, when I saw this, obviously US oil falling down so much, that's why I shorted S&P, or I was, I was more confident shorting the US uh, S&P today for at least a scalp. Um, but yeah, that was that. And I don't want to concentrate too much on the stock market. But I'm going to go back to, our, uh, what should I do? V-chain. Uh, V-chain first. Let's do V-chain first. Uh, V-chain. Okay. So yeah, this was one that I tweeted out yesterday for you all. Uh, actually, it was in the live stream that I done uh, saying that I'll be taking a long here. So this is like unedited, unedited because obviously I have my own trading view account. But um, here we're looking here at obviously this was with a buy off the golden pocket ratio. And guess what? We saw a very nice bounce. Why was this buy so nice? Because wave four here held support perfectly from wave one. OK, so this is wave one support acting wave one acting as support for wave four where you have to be buying here you have to be buying i mean your risk is literally uh less than a percent less than a percent with your stops or stop loss below wave one which would invalidate the count okay so this is just the most perfect trade you can have really when you see wave four coming down and giving you one percent of risk it's a trade that you have to take even if you wait for confirmation okay even if you wait for the confirmation and buy here in this area that you see a rejection of a lower wick like this through the golden ratio and also see wave one holding a support like this, this is a buy signal. OK, I'm not going to lie. It's a very strong buy signal that you didn't have to be getting, getting filled down here, but you could have easily getting, been getting filled here where we were going sideways for about 12 hours. Uh, you had the, the time to buy here. And this is one that I told you buy. <laughs> Although, yeah, again, this video is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a good trader. Um, so don't try and just don't just randomly listen to me, do your own research and all that. But yeah, even if you had bought here, that's still like a 6% gain. And from the bottom, that's a 10% gain. Um, you know, my target was looking at here. I'm still got a little bit left on this position because my overall target is this bit of resistance here flipping to support. Well, I'm, I'm going to be taking profits and closing out the majority of my position here, though. I know, obviously, I'm aware that wave five can carry on up, but I'm going to be, you know, very conservative here. Uh, and closing out the majority at this wick. I've already closed out a lot of the 382. Okay, I've closed 50% of the 382. I will close 25% here at my next target, which was my overall target of this whole move. Um, and then I will just let 25%, you know, or the remainder of my position run with a trading stop loss. And let's see if we get up to the top of wave five. But this was an extremely successful trade that I made really, really clear to people that I was taking. Uh, literally, as soon as we got this bounce, I made it very clear to everyone I was taking this trade. Um, and again, very, very nice trade. And I hope you you, know, you don't all take this as bragging. Although, you know, I'm making really good money. You know, none of this is bragging. It's just explaining what I'm doing. Um, it's just that I get some people try and troll me saying that I brag. It's not bragging. Um, none of this is bragging. Anyway, I'm not going to concentrate too much on that. Let's just move on to Icon uh, because, again, <laughs> super successful trade. And this was one that I was sculpting. OK, so I'll go over, over the sculpts that I've done on this coin. But firstly, let's just look. What have I highlighted a lot in this video that resistance flips into support and re support flips into resistance? What do we have here in this golden box? We have a clear area of very strong support, 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 resistance, resistance, support what is going to happen here it's going to flip into support okay it's going to flip into support what have we got also here we've got the 0 0.5 fibonacci level okay so this is a level where you ladder in from the 0 0.5 down to the support with this old resistance flipping into support what you would expect from you know typical technical analysis um, trading okay you would expect this to hold okay so with that said let's zoom into the 15 minute and go through the scopes that i done today this was two trades that i took today and li literally i think it's like six percent on the first and seven percent on the second um really 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 nice okay uh, but what, what I'll go and go over. So these bottom line was the uh, old resistance flipping in support. The top green line is the 0 0.5 Fibonacci. Okay, so the trade is very, very, very simply this: buy. Okay, you buy laddering in here. Your 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 uh, t your um, target <laughs> target is the old resistance here. Okay, the top resistance or the 382. So the second line that we've got here in sort of uh, whatever color you call this gray sort of orange i guess is the 382 so these are your profit targets okay so with that in mind let's zoom back into the 15 minute 
just a really really successful trade and this is where people are scared and there's a saying that scared money don't make money i am never ever ever scared to enter a trade i'm telling you now never ever scared if i lose a trade i literally don't care because i know i'll just take another trade and win it so i'm never scared about losing a trade and i'm never scared ever 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 scared to enter a trade when my setup's there i literally will enter every single time and yes yeah, sometimes i take losses don't try and think that i never take losses because i am a, i do take losses but i can easily make my losses back and i'm never ever affected by a loss um so I, yeah when i see these opportunities yeah of, of course it can carry down and i can get stopped out but uh, for me it's worth the risk to reward ratio and worth to take these trades when you know when you've consistently can win over time um, so that's how I think. Never be scared to take a trade, <laughs> um, especially when you've got, you know, you've got your trading edge and you know what you're doing. OK, so what we're seeing here is buying in and this is scalping. OK, this is very much scalping. We're on the 15 minute time frame, buying the 0.5 to top, trade out, top out at a target, OK, of horizontal resistance at the 382, OK? So we're obviously buying here, buying here, and you can be laddering in between here, and you can also ladder out if you'd like here as well, okay? But what we're seeing here is the first gain of around 6%, okay? And this is just from laddering in here. My top position wasn't filled, okay? So I didn't fill on the top position here, okay? I still had one position filled at the top here that wasn't taken out, okay? Obviously, that was filled later on, so all, all good. But um, yeah, the first one wasn't filled. OK, and I was not worrying about that. I obviously took the majority of my profit on my original target. My second target was just wasn't filled. Uh, no, not to worry. I just moved on to the next trade, waited for this to come back down. OK, obviously closing out here, closing out with some nice shooting stars at the top of the move. Very nice to see top wicks onto your targets. Just so nice to see. OK, so closing out with these shooting star candles coming back down. What do we do again? We do it again, ladies and gentlemen. We do it again, falling back down to our support of the 0 0.5 of that old that old uh, resistance flipping into support and a 0 0.5 what do we end with here we also end with extremely nice bullish divergences okay look at this bullish divergence on the histogram i'm a big histogram trader this is what you call massive bullish divergences okay really big bullish divergences where the macd histogram is come making a much higher low okay much higher low OK, and so that that was for me, you know, extremely nice to see. And we do also have the same bullish divergences on the stochastics RSI and the standard RSI. OK, so for me, extremely nice to see all my indicators just working perfectly. OK, and I'm not a great big, big fan of indicators, by the way. Um, a lot of people swear by indicators. I prefer to not trade off of indicators. But when I can see them like that, that's why I have them added because, you know, they're useful in times like this. But um, I'm not an indicator fan. Uh, overall to be honest they, they're lagging indicators i prefer to be ahead of the game but um when you see this bullish divergences obviously we're taking it from the candle closes so a lower low on candle price and all higher lows on or across all of my uh all, all indicators okay histogram rsi stochastic rsi very bullish divergences and what do we do we go again we buy okay second scalp of the day so this was a six percent gain this time i closed out all of my position as we come up here, we hit the 382, and this is another about a 6% gain, almost 7% gain. So this is two trades taken on ICX in the space of, you know, a day, okay? Or a few days here, okay? This of this one was obviously, you know, slightly last night, and this one was one that I took today, okay? So this was my trade of the day. And literally, that's a, you know, a 7% gain in one day of trading, okay? Um, just absolute crazy buying from the bottom level. Even if you had just like bought in from the confirmation of these, you know, support holding at the start of the day, to, you know, at the start of just like two hours ago, um, you know, this is still obviously clearly support holding. And you could have been very late into the move and still made 4% or from the bottom here, like 5% gain. Okay, so this is like literally the space of two, two days of trading okay where there was a move close back out and s sleep overnight <laughs> let's say you've done this first trade and then you sleep overnight and then you wake back up today and you see support still holding and you go for it again okay and then you make another five percent gain okay so that's literally like 48 hours of trading and like really easy scalps okay um yeah okay so that was that was icon um and i think that's everything that i wanted to cover um i'm going to quickly show you all what i took on the stock market because some people are interested by this okay so the reason I entered my position here, which was at 2,812, as I said at the start, let's zoom out and I'll show you why. OK, what have we seen here? This is really nice for me, by the way. Uh, I can just enter my stop loss now at break even and I literally will. OK, literally, I'm going to move it down at the end of this video. Um, but what I'm seeing here is the 786 Fibonacci. This has been a crazy week. Okay, well, not really a week, but, you know, a crazy month, few months that we've just seen no pullback. Um, and I'm not even guaranteeing that we're getting a pullback. Obviously, I've got this as a WXY and we come down for a flat ABC. Um, but I'm just going to move my stop loss up to break even now. 
we have saw this rejection from the 786 Fibonacci level, uh, which is what I would, you know, obviously I really wanted to see the top price coming up to what, 2,813 points. I got, more, I got filled at 2,812. Um, perfect short position here on a very big index yeah uh so yeah i'll just be break even and it's a free trade i've got zero zero risk on the table well I, currently i have my stop loss is still above here so i do need to edit it but um this is the trade that i'm in right now on the s p uh index or the spx index here um which sure obviously covers the s p 500 but you know that was a very nice trade on the stock market and that's where i've been trading literally us oil stocks and uh, cryptocurrency all in one day very crazy day of trading um and i think yeah that's everything that i wanted to cover for you all um oh yeah this is something this is uh this is one that i tweet saw today that this was actually pointed out on the 31st of december when price price on the 31st of december was sat at around four thousand. um and again this is just showing you i'm a boss i'm a boss and i know what i'm all about here that i said that we will bearish saying that we we're going to fall down from 4200 and where did i say that we'd fall down from 4200 i said we'd fall down to the, again and retest the 200 moving average on the weekly okay um and and, then, and this prediction played out extremely well let's load up the chart here uh, so bitstamp let's go uh bitstamp is this bitstamp uh yeah bitstamp let's zoom out to the weekly Let's load on the indicator of the uh, moving average and let's just show you what's all happened here. Okay, moving average. Let's change this to the 200 and let's press OK. What happened? Okay, so my prediction that I made, and this is a list of like uh, supposedly top traders on Twitter. Uh, and who got the best prediction? Was your? <laughs> Me. <laughs> um, I'm just really happy. I, I love trading. <laughs> again this is probably a little bit bragging but i'm just gonna brag uh, because who made the best prediction on the list me <laughs> uh that we obviously got up to four thousand, and here uh, you know obviously you can see that a lot, half the traders are bullish at this point okay half the traders are obviously looking bullish uh why I don't know. Uh, but obviously, we were sat at 4,000 on the 31st of December. Okay, 4,100 sat here. I predicted that we would come down and at least test the 200 weekly moving average again. Okay, I predicted that we'd get two or three touches of this. Okay, before a decision is made. Is it holding a support or will we break through? Okay, but what happened? We have obviously touched the foot, the 200 exponential moving average first time, got a bounce, come down, touched the 200, uh, sorry, not exponential, simple moving average again, and we got a second bounce. Okay. And actually on this chart, this is really nice. I never really refer to the bitstamp chart too much. But you see this parallel channel? Oh, it's a little bit off-centered. But uh, yeah, that looks better. What have we come down to today? We come back down to the middle of this channel, okay? Uh, well, I was aware of this, but obviously on the bitstamp, I, I don't have it up on my BitMEX chart for you all. But this is just another parallel channel that if we zoom into the four hour, it will look even nicer. Oh, it's hidden on the four hour. Let's go back to the weekly. And let's just add this into the four hour for you all. Because uh, this is looking really nice. So let's just go down to the four hour. So well, where were we finding support? Okay, we were also finding support of the middle of the channel. And this is like a, you can choose to take trades if you want off the middle of the channel. But you know, here you are finding resistance on the top of the channel, you have support on the bottom of the channel. And the middle of the channel is for scalpers where you will scalp off the middle of the channel long or shorts. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's interesting that we obviously come down to the middle of the parallel channel that was highlighted here. Um, where we're now obviously getting the relief rally, but it does look like a bear flag it does look like a bear flag. OK, where, you know, for, if you want to look for a, just for the flagpole and not a, a form of an ABC, then your target is going to be where's the target? It's going to be standard, more or less the bottom of the channel. OK, you're going to be looking for a target and more or less the bottom of the channel, depending on where the flagpole comes up to here. I mean, obviously, where the bull flag finishes here, as I take it from the breakout. But um, yeah, I mean, what a day, what a day of trading. I mean, I absolutely loved it. Um, you all know me. I uh, I'm a big passionate passionate uh guy when it comes to trading i love it um i hope you all share well I'm, I'm sure you all share my passion because you're here watching cryptocurrency technical analysis videos i know i love 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 trading i love making money <laughs> and i just love helping others as well so um you know to see people learning through my videos all the support that i've been getting honestly is so heartwarming and so beautiful uh it makes me so happy and so positive that you know i'm receiving the messages that I affect people's lives for me is the best and that's better than the monetary gains it really is better than money for me um, you know I don't really need to work and I don't need to be doing this training for me is a hobby and when I can receive messages from people saying that I'm changing their life through these videos it's just so empowering and you will know that I, I love it I really really love it and that's why I wanted to do this giveaway for you all just to say thank you okay I had some very um ignorant comments from people well, not ignorant but um and uh 
ungrateful people saying um with this this which i find it outstanding that people can try and um hate on me for doing a giveaway but uh crazy um but i'll leave this in the the description down below and this can you can come all along and i just wanted to say thank you everybody for you know 5000 followers is a i never ever imagined to get 5000 followers when i started this obviously i started it off and i never imagined to get five the, the, you know into turn into a big account i very much started it to help off you know, I started it when it was in the big, big bull run of the uh, 2007, you know, where around 2017, 18 times where everybody was so bullish. And I just started this because I really recognized that this is not a time to be bullish, okay? Where every trader was so bullish on these times. So I started off my Twitter just to, and YouTube, I started them both at the same time to help a very small amount of people saying, why are you bullish right now? It's so bearish. We're going to be going down. <laughs> like we're in a descending triangle. We, you know, we, we saw a massive extended fifth wave. We're going to be putting back here. And my intentions was just to help out some, you know, I literally, when I first started, had like two people that averaged watch my video, two or five people that watched my videos. Um, and obviously I helped those people extremely because they were all shorting with me and, and not buying in these levels. Okay because we were expecting the breakdown and the breakdown came but that's why i started off and i never imagined to, it to take off like it has i guess um yeah it's been absolutely crazy i never ever imagined it honestly but um yeah i just wanted to do this giveaway by set to say thank you for you all and the main you know the main focus for me is obviously the first prize is going to be the free one-on-one -on -one coaching and this is i really believe that my coaching is way better than any money that i could give you um the coaching is something that you can learn to learn from this and you can really start to change your life and change your trading habits if you know especially through obviously the videos help but a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me i think is going to be so beneficial for you um, and this is obviously going to be free um, and this normally I charge a uh, hundred dollars an hour so um, yeah essentially it's a hundred dollar price I guess but a, a free one-on-one -on -one session and all you have to do is follow me on Twitter which I'm sure you probably all, all do like and retweet the tweet and then tag two friends like all of this okay like all of these people okay so some, currently we only have we have 72 entries okay so 72 entries you could be one of those people um let's see the first is going to win the one-on-one -on -one coaching the second two neo and the third ontology these are obviously small prizes but um i find it crazy that people are ungrateful saying why are you doing two neo giveaway um if you don't want 15 dollars, then don't enter i mean up to you uh <laughs> i'm not a charity um but yeah anyway that's uh I just found it so ungrateful people saying oh why you do even bother um anyway i I'm not, I, I try and like block out these haters because i just think that you know why be ungrateful um, the main prize is obviously the coaching session i didn't have to add in anything um but i decided to just to you know give a second and a third place but so i hope you appreciate it um i don't I didn't have to do this um anyway you all know the majority I, I i obviously i need to black out block out those trolls and i generally do i know the majority here are so supportive and i you know i love you all i love my followers i i love you all you're like we're like a big family you know that we're like a big family so um we need to block out those haters <laughs> um and just concentrate on moving forwards move concentrate on moving forwards and progressing with your trading okay and i'll likely turn this live stream so i don't know how i'm going to work it i guess what i can do is see the list of retweets and i'll do like a random number generator and go through the list and let's say i'll enter one to 72 and whoever wins whatever number comes up is going to be you know coming up with that's the winner and okay so i'll do it like that with a random number generator i guess something like that and i'll also do on the live stream some sort of um you know make it into some cool sort of session i guess uh possibly I'll do a question and answer session. So if you want to do do a question, then leave a comment down below and I'll go through that or something like that, I guess. I'll turn the live stream into something fun though when I pick these winners. Okay, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll be uh, trading away as normal. After this ends, go back to sculpting and uh, yeah, hope you, ha glad, hope you really hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much everybody for the, for the support and I'll catch you in the next one, uh, which will hopefully be tomorrow. Okay, cheers. Thank you, bye. <laughs>